soft and chewy, thin and crisp, or cakey? How do you like your chocolate chip cookie? I've actually received countless questions and comments on the chocolate chip cookie, and I wanna show you how to make the perfect chocolate chip cookie for you. And there are two determining factors in the overall texture and look of the cookie. Two special ingredients. For soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies, it's two sticks of butter. But if you want it to be thinner, or if you want it to be cakier, you're gonna have to adjust the ratio of the recipe. For a thin and crisp cookie, it's two and a half sticks. And for a cakey cookie, it's one and three quarter sticks. I'm gonna put the two sticks into the KitchenAid mixer here. And make sure you're using unsalted butter when you're baking. You always wanna be able to adjust the salt on your own. I'm gonna add the sugar now. And sugar is the other ingredient that really affects the overall texture and look of the cookie. So I'm making soft and chewy cookies here, and that is one cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of granulated sugar. The greater quantity of brown sugar adds chewiness to the cookie because it has molasses in it. For something that's a thin and crisp cookie, you want a higher ratio of granulated sugar. So we have a one and a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar here to three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar. And for a cakey cookie, you need to reduce the overall sugar in general. And we have three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar and a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. So I'm gonna cream together the butter and the sugar, and that's going to incorporate air into the batter. And creaming is a very important step here because what it does is it dissolves the sugar into the butter and it also incorporates air, which will help to leaven your cookie. So the butter and sugar is light and fluffy. And to this, I'm gonna add two eggs. Now the rest of the ingredients for this chocolate chip cookie are the same, regardless if you're making soft and chewy, thin and crisp, or cakey. So two eggs, one at a time, you wanna add them into your mixture, your butter and sugar mixture here. Two teaspoons of the best quality vanilla extract. And I'm gonna eyeball it here. And now I'm gonna add the dry ingredients two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And baking soda is what helps cookies, cakes, pancakes spread. Baking powder puffs. So think of it that way. Soda spreads, powder puffs. So that's a half teaspoon and one teaspoon of coarse salt, I'm using kosher salt here. And whisk that together and you really wanna make sure you take your time here and whisk the ingredients together. You don't want any pockets of leavener in your flour mixture. Make sure it's evenly distributed. And then this goes into your mixer and I like to just dump it in all at once. So mix on slow speed until it's just combined. Add two cups of the best quality semi-sweet chocolate. And just mix this until it's just incorporated. Don't go any further than that, otherwise you're gonna toughen your cookie. You're gonna develop gluten that's in the flour, and you're gonna end up with a tough cookie. So now for scooping and baking, about a tablespoon of cookie dough batter, two inches apart on a parchment lined baking sheet. And I like to use these ice cream scoops for perfectly portioning out cookies. You get really nice rounded sides. So these go into a 350 degree oven and depending on the variation, whether it's chewy, thin and crisp or cakey, it will take anywhere from eight to 15 minutes. So there you have it, the trick to getting the perfect chocolate chip cookie just the way you like it. If you have any kitchen conundrums, if you have any baking conundrums, write in the comment section below or use the hashtag kitchen conundrums and let me know what problems I can solve for you.